We're live in St. Paul, Minnesota, and if you can have a comfortable lead in gymnastics, 16-year-old Jordan Weber has it. Leading the field heading into tonight when she could become champion of the United States for the first time. But guess what? She is not the one everyone is talking about. presents live coverage of the 2011 Women's Visa Championships. St. Paul, Minnesota could tonight be comeback city as we welcome you to the home of the NHL's Minnesota Wild, the Excel Center in downtown St. Paul, the capital of the state. Al Trowick along with Tim Daggett, L.P. Schlegel, and Andrea Joyce. And Tim, let's start with Sean Johnson. What's on the line for her tonight, and what have you seen so far? Well, a heck of a lot. You know, the qualifying meet for these national championships was a competition called the Cover Girl Classic, and she actually looked very nervy there. She admitted that she was really, at times, scared, but she has looked much better. Day one was pretty darn good, and today, so far in the warm-ups, she has looked a lot like the old Tough, tough Sean Johnson. Competing on a surgically repaired knee. Now, Elfie, what about Alicia Sacramone? Well, it's legit, that's for sure. And Alicia's uh, comeback started well over a year ago. She said she really needed that time. She couldn't even imagine coming back this year. She needed the full two years. She has proven herself. Her gymnastics is big. And I'll tell you what, she is in the best shape ever. How important is the Olympics to her? It's tattooed on the back of her neck. Then you have Chelsea Memel, the only one of the three that's competing in all four events. And you know, her comeback, you know, it, it was so different than Sean Johnson. She had no announcement, no media days. It was all quiet. She said, all I need is to be in the gym and uh, to get this job done. Good, hold it. At the top of the board, though, we said it's 16-year-old Jordan Weber from Michigan, the daughter of two very athletic parents, and she's got a very significant 1.85 lead over Massachusetts native Alexandra Raisman. And then there's Chelsea Memo flirting with the podium, perhaps, 2.5 back. Rebecca Bross, the defending national champion, had some stumbles on the balance beam that we'll get a chance to recap in a moment. But we're going to start things off by talking about Jordan Weber, who amazingly, at the age of 16, has already won the most prestigious American international event, the American Cup, twice. Yeah, the last one, she actually defeated the reigning world champion, Mustafina from Russia. So this kid has some credentials. She, she won that meet the first time when she was just 13 years old as a junior. As far as the Olympics go, Elfie, and that's everything in this world, she's at a pretty good age for oh, that. Absolutely, and, and Jordan, you have to think she's a shoe in but you know, we're still a year out to the Olympic Games, and there's a lot of gymnastics down the road, but uh, this is one young lady who could very well be, be the leader of that team. So a lot of stories here, how they intersect is anyone's guess, but the first major thing is going to come out of this competition, and that will be a selection of the team that will represent the United States in October at the World Championships in Tokyo. And you know, really, for that selection, unless Jordan Weaver has an injury, a sickness, that she's gonna be on that team. There's no question about it. She is strong on all of the events, all four of them, and uh, really has, in my opinion, she's already earned that. As long as things don't go wrong, she's not just playing for an airline ticket. She's, in my opinion, play, playing for a world championship all around that. And she was the absolute best on this apparatus on night one.
that David. was a great <laughs> start. Fantastic. For Jordan Weaver. Wow. She actually looked like she was enjoying herself. Yeah, she did. That's the nice part about it. She has an amazing look on her face. Not only the difficulty, it's there, but she, she just looks like she's had a great time. She's into the exercise. The coach that we just saw right there. John Gettard said that she is in tremendous shape. She said she looks like a piece of chiseled steel. From Needham, Massachusetts, 17-year-old Alexandra Raisman. She's in second place right now. She just saw that happen right in front of her. She's just a few feet away at the takeoff of the vault. And Allie's a rock. What she does so well is she is consistent. Marta loves that quality about her. And that was great. Was great. She's actually capable of doing a harder vault, adding a half twist to it, but that's about as clean a vault as you can see, Thank you. Thank and you. a great landing on it. And I think the decision was made back on night one. They didn't want to risk any injury. She had been having a little bit of a problem on the landing, and they just decided, hey, let's get through this one. Keep it safe. Weaver's floor exercise of 15.0, and so far it's only two routines, but what a difference from night one. Unbelievable. Yeah, night one it was all over the place, very messy, lots and lots of falls. Probably the worst Visa championships it's I've ever seen, but so far, two up and out of the box. Great routines. You check in on the uneven bars, and here's a unique young lady. She's 23, one of UCLA's best. And she's trying to really gain her first major spot for international exposure, Anna Lee. And she has a very good shot, and it is really 100% about this piece of apparatus. Doesn't matter what else she does, she's only going to do the balance beam. But she earns a ticket to the world because she is so great on the uneven bars. Beautiful transition. And this is one of the events where the United States oh. is a little bit weak. And that is a very big error. And what it's going to come, come into play here is endurance because her routine is so long. And now she's added a few different skills. Stop through. Well, that was good. That was really good, but it, it wasn't it wasn't great. I think she could have done herself a real solid if she was able to go two in a row, night one and night two on bars. Now Rebecca Bras from the same gym in Plano, Texas that gave us the last two Olympic gold medalists, but Rebecca Bras, the reigning national champion, had some problems on night one. Yeah, actually two problems. That was the first one, totally unexpected. And right here on the dismount, that one wasn't unexpected though. We've been here watching her all week long in St. Paul and she has really had a tough time with that just a couple moments ago though she looked good on the dismount we did see her fall on one of her skills in the time warm-up just just moments ago well, she's going to leap her way right up on the balance beam and get things started right off the top big test coming up first major skill and this is where she fell in the warm-ups right here oh, she's, that right foot was seven eighths off the balance beam. I think it's important to note that Rebecca has not competed in a competition since last year's World Championships. And you know, she had a, a broken bone in her foot at those World Championships. She had that the entire time. And she came home with four world medals. This is about as tough of a kid as you're ever gonna see. all week for her as well dead on she is on you know the day after the first night of competition after those falls she was back in the gym training full sets on this apparatus and she didn't miss it's paying off this has been the challenge all week oh yes. Gosh. and it continues to be oh. But you know what? That one was better. 
Oh. She had a little bit more height. She kind of kicked out her body a little bit sooner on that. And what she's Blind been, landing, what, it's a tough what landing. What she's been doing all week long is landing in these big, deep, deep squats, and they're scary. And that one, she kind of went. Oh, coach Larry Lukin, of course, coach and dad of Olympic all around champion Nastia Lukin. And you know, Rebecca is really tough on herself. Watch her right foot. Look at that. It's almost completely off the beam. It's like, no way, not tonight. That's called strong toes. And, and Tim, how many of these have we watched her do all week long? Let's look at the landing, though. She really just locks those legs out when oh, she sure. lands, and it pushes her hips backwards. And that's disappointing. So damage control again for Rebecca Ross. Allie Raisman got a 15.1 for her vault. Anna Lee way down, a 14.4. And that's not going to get it done. Here's Michaela Maroney, who lives in beautiful Laguna Niguel, California. Making the world championship team would be a career first and a huge deal. And where she makes this team is on this event right here. Her vault, we just saw Allie Raisman do a vault that has a maximum score of a 15.8. Now, everybody all over the world is chasing what they call the Aminar after a great Romanian gymnast, and that vault has a maximum score of 16.5. Most teams in the world don't even have one athlete that are capable of doing it. This young lady, not just capable of doing that vault, but in my opinion, the I've best. never seen anybody do it better than she does. I was going to say Aliyah Mustafina from Russia, who won the world.